In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to split a circle into six pieces. First, we need a circle. I'm going to double click on my fill over here. We're going to create a blue-ish circle. Hit OK. I'm going to click on my stroke and uncheck that. So we're just going to have a blue fill. Now I'm going to use the ellipse tool, create a circle out here, and I'm going to hold shift to make sure it's a perfect circle. Hey, okay, we have our circle shape. Now let's create our guides that we're going to split this shape on. So we're going to create a line segment to create some paths. That's the slash icon on your keyboard. I'm going to make sure I create this larger than the circle itself. So I'm going to click up here, drag down, and I'm going to hold shift while I do that. So I know that this is bigger than the circle, which is all I need. So now we have this line and I'm going to add a stroke to it of one point just so I can see it better. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to come over here in the properties panel into the rotate section and give this a, a value of zero. So really that's just a horizontal line. Now I'm going to duplicate this by selecting it, holding option or alt, clicking and dragging, and I've got a second line. I'm going to do the same thing, hold option or alt, click and drag, and now I have a third line. On the second line, I'm going to come in here and for the rotation value, I'm going to put in 60. For the third line I made, I'm going to select that and for the rotation value, put in 120. Now I'm going to click and drag to select all three of these. So I have them all selected. I'm going to align them both horizontally center and vertically center in my alignment panel. Now you can see that we potentially have six separate shapes here. Let's go ahead and group this together so we don't accidentally move it. So I'm going to click and drag to select everything, right click and go to group. And then I'm going to select both the circle and this group by clicking and dragging over the top of all of them. And we're going to do the same thing, horizontal and vertical align. Now there's a couple things you can do at this point. We could use the shape builder tool. We could also use the pathfinder options. Let's take a look at a couple here. The reason I like the shape builder tool, it's over here, it's this icon, two circles and a shape or a cursor is because it can see all the different parts. So really at this point, I could literally just click on each one of these and create these uh, pieces, if you will. Now it kind of took my fill and stroke options over here, which since I did the lines last was simply a stroke. That's okay. That's easily changeable here. So we can press V for the move tool, come out here, and now we have all of these pieces. And we could delete out any leftover slices from our group that we had and simply click and drag. And you can see all these pieces. Now, apparently we accidentally selected this piece of pie right here. So what we can do is come in here and double click and delete out these. So if you double click into isolation mode, you can delete out all these individual pieces until you get down to only having that piece of pie. And we can double click out here, click and drag to select everything and give it all a stroke of one point. And you can see now, or let's try that again. Let's try to give it all a stroke weight of one point and make sure it has a color as well. There we go. We have a black stroke of one point on all of these shapes and all of these shapes are separate from each other and they're exactly six slices. Now let's back this up a little bit if that was hard to follow and we'll go back to where we were prior to using the shape builder tool. So this is where we were. We had everything centered and we had our lines. So if we click and drag, what we could do in the pathfinder options is find the appropriate option to probably intersect all these shapes. Let's take a look at that. Nope, because we don't have overlapping paths. We'll try to exclude. That's not the right thing either. Maybe it's this one here. Let's see. Nope. So this pathfinder option might be more difficult. We'll do divide. There we go. That's the one. Okay. So in the pathfinder options, we have this selected. We have to click the three dots and go to pathfinders and not the shape modes. Shape mode works with shapes, but this is a combination of paths and shapes. So we're gonna click divide. And that actually makes a lot more sense and that might be easier to do than uh, using the shape builder tool in this case. So now that we've divided this, it's probably grouped. We can right click it and ungroup it. 
And now we have all these individual pieces that were simply divided uh, and, it, it, and it basically cut out our circle into six individual pieces. This is probably the better way and less confusing way to do it unless you're familiar with the Shape Builder tool and you like working in that direction. But this didn't leave us with any leftover parts we had to delete out and it also didn't change the look of our circle at all. It just gave us six identical slices of apparently a blue pizza now. All right, guys, that's how to um, that's how to sort of cut out a circle into six identical pieces here in Illustrator.